Ah. Hello everyone and welcome to the 8th episode of Letting a Wheel Pick My Crafts. Now the last episode went kind of okay. It was in the middle for these kinds of videos. And I'm also going to leave a playlist up in this corner for all these wheel craft videos. If you want to have a little binge watch, I always promote binge watching on the channel. But I'm feeling some good energy from the wheel today, so I think it's gonna, gonna do me well. I hope so anyway. I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling a bit weird now. But anyway, let's find out what we're gonna be making in today's episode and spin that wheel. One fell off, I don't know what it is. It's landed on that one as well. Ah. It's landed on outfit. That's quite a recent addition to an outfit. The thing is, this can easily go really bad or really well. It all depends on what I have to make this out of. This could be shocking. This could be really, really bad, but it's gonna be an outfit today. Or like some sort of clothing or something like that. I have to obviously wear it. Okay, so this wheel definitely decides my fate. I think the only things I want for this outfit to be made from would be fabric, paper, and possibly recycled. I think they're the only three things I can think that I could make an outfit from. Wood. I don't know what I would do with wood. Food would be a horrific one. Concrete. Clear. Metal. I've got all materials on here that aren't good for clothing. So I, I, I'm just in a very bad situation here and I'm, I'm very worried but I'm gonna put myself out my misery and see what this outfit's gonna be made out of. Spin that wheel. Okay, it's not great. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst. It's kind of in the middle, teetering on bad. So I have to make this outfit from toys. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how to do that. I'm thinking obviously the best thing would be like plushies, like I did last time with the rug, and just dismantle them and make some sort of t-shirt or something. Well, this is definitely going to be a very different one from what we've done before. Last time was a little bit of a duplicate. This one is just very fresh. Okay, so it's time to decide on the budget. And I'm aiming for top, top budget. I want 65 because looking around the studio, I don't, well, I don't really have any toys. So actually I have a couple. I have some weird plastic dolls, just the bodies, not the heads, because I use the heads for this. But I don't have enough to make any kind of outfit. I, I'd be very naked. But Controls out of my hands. I can't do anything about it. Let's find out and spin that wheel. Are you shitting me? Are you absolutely shitting me? No, it's not fair. Five pound. You may as well have just given us nothing. Five pound. Toys are expensive. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna make an outfit or an item of clothing? from toys with a budget of five pound. It's literally impossible. I'm gonna have to really do some sort of creative thinking with this. I feel like taking the five pound and the zero off. It's not fair. Okay, well, Ant's gonna be naked today. Okay, and the final wheel decides whether I can use any other materials for support and structure that obviously isn't toys, or whether I can use any decorative materials. And I would obviously like yes, even though I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do, because then it just keeps my options open. <laughs> anyway, let's find out and spin that wheel. Okay, yes. Yes, that's good. That's something. I can't really celebrate it because I still... I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, so all the wheels have spoken, and today I'm gonna be making an outfit, or possibly even just one item of clothing. It's gonna have to be made out of toys. I've only got a five pound budget, and I am allowed to use decorative materials and support and structured materials. And the thing is, this could have easily been kind of like a fine one. I could have made an outfit out of toys if I just had a big enough budget. It's the budget that's screwing me over today. I wonder if anywhere gives like free toys. I'm gonna have a hunt around on the internet and see what I can do. I'm, I'm not in 
a good position. This this isn't this isn't good news. I, I dread to think what I'm going to come up with, but I've got a few weeks to give it some thought and pull something out my ass. Okay, I'm finally back, and I'm sure you've been on the edge of your seat wondering about what I'm going to make. And I decided because obviously the budget's quite small for kind of a full-on outfit. I thought I would make a hat from scratch, and I think that'll be interesting. And I think I can do it think. And for my budget, all I bought was a roll of duct tape, and that's all I could afford. And you might be thinking, what about the toys? How are you going to make this hat? There's no toys. Well, fortunately, because I'm a hoarder, I have mountains and mountains of things in boxes. And by the way, this is what I stare at every time I'm recording a video. That's what's behind the camera. Just a wall of boxes with random stuff in. And I have a feeling I'm going to find some toy things in there that I can hopefully do something with. I haven't really checked through it all because it would take me forever because it's just... I've just got so much shit. I feel like I'm gonna make something so it's, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be alright everyone. So I think in this box is where I have most of my kind of miscellaneous crap. Straight away I've got some toy soldiers. I forgot I had these actually. They could come in handy, so we'll get them out. I've also got a random half of a doll for some reason. Oh, I've got another one too. Some more toy soldiers. Even more toy soldiers. Do we think ping pong balls are toys? I suppose it depends on your definition of what a toy is. I'll keep them out just in case. I've got some of these. These might come in handy. I would consider them a toy. A pack of dinosaurs. That's a toy. Oh, oh no. Why have I got so many glow sticks for? Put them back in the box. They'll come in handy at some point. I do have a random light bulb in here, but I don't think that's a toy. And some grapes. They're fake. And by the way, I swear this is stuff that I already had. I haven't bought any of this. I know that might seem amazing to some people that I keep so much shit, but it's true. Because today, it's come in handy. I've got some strawberries, but I don't think they're any good. And there's some more grapes. Okay, I think that's all for that box. Right, this box also looks promising. Well, maybe it's not as promising. I've got some tennis balls. They could kind of be classed as a toy. Oh, I'm going to be spoiled for choice, aren't I? I also have a bag of power balls. They'll come in handy. I think that's it in this box. Oh wait. Balloons are technically a toy or could be considered a toy. We'll keep them. Okay, I think that's it for that box. Oh, this one was so high up. It was so hard to get. This one looks like a good one. Okay, so I've got loads more dolls bodies. So we'll use them. I've got some little basketballs. We could use them as well. I've got disco balls, but I don't think they're... I wouldn't really call that a toy. I think I'm getting carried away. Oh, I've got another doll though. And a cricket ball, but I've only got one, so that doesn't make any sense. I'll put that back. Okay, so I think I'm sorted for toys, surprisingly. I probably do have a few more things in certain boxes, but I just, I honestly, I can't be bothered to go through them all because I have to put it all back and it's, it's just it's too much, too much effort. But anyway, getting back to the duct tape, you might be wondering why I've got this. This is going to act as the base for my hat. And I've seen drag queens on Drag Race do it before where they make kind of undergarments and stuff to build off of using duct tape. And I'm just going to wrap it around my head. So we'll see how this goes take my hat off and then I just want to go around my head. I can use the viewfinder as a mirror. I don't want it too tight because I want to be able to put it back on my head. Ah, uh, oh, it's got my hair stuck in it. Ah, uh, off to a great start. No, it's twisted. You're going to get stuck in my hair. It's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just don't want it to stick to my hair because it'll pull it all out. It took me a long time to grow this hair. Oh, my arms are tired. It's fine, we're getting there. It's gonna be all right. Ah, it's already trapping my hair. I can feel it pulling it. I think I can work on that, can't I? I can just take it off and figure it out. <laughs> oh, ah, no. Ah, you bastard. Ah, oh, it's probably stuck in my hair. Ah, ow, 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 ow. Pulled my hair out. It pulled so much of my hair out. Oh, you ass. Okay, so I've got the size of the hat here and I'll just try and kind of build off that. So it's really hard to do when it's on your head. And if I make it too small or tight, I can always cut it. So it's not the end of the world. They make it look so easy on TV and it's quite hard. I want this quite loose. And also this is just the base undergarment. So it doesn't matter if it looks a bit rough. Just see if that's still gonna fit my head. How has it gone so, how has it gone so tight? Cut it down the back. Oh, I feel like it's giving us a facelift. It's so tight. Oh my god. It is honestly, it is so tight. Like I can, I can feel my pulse in my head. Who knew making a hat was going to be so hard? It's just 
try that again. It actually fits okay. Obviously, it looks terrible, but it'll look great once I'm done. I could just call it a Oh, well, there's no toys, is there? So I can't call it a I don't think any kids would play with a roll of duct tape. Some might. I would. Okay, so since I've got my hat base here, I'm going to start adding toys. I think it'll be strong enough to support toys. I hope so. Okay, so I think I might use balloons kind of around this bit and do like a tassily, fringy kind of moment just to really class this hat up. And then once that's done, I can kind of figure out what else it needs. The thing is, I have a good feeling this is going to be the most exciting thing you'll have ever seen all year. So the whole of 2022, this is your highlight. It doesn't get better than this. Right, that'll be the front. It kind of looks like a jellyfish, doesn't it? And I'll put the bigger ones towards the back. That's one thing I can't stand about balloons, is that weird powdery stuff all over them. It makes your hands feel like really gross. Okay, so some balloon fringe. Oh, that's that's a nice feature. I'm into it. Someone would want that look. I don't know who, but someone would. I need to add some more stuff to it. Less isn't more. More is more. And more is better. Okay, I think I'll add a row of ping pong balls above the balloons, just to break that up a little bit, because that's very colourful. And then you want a little bit of playing, just to kind of separate it a little bit. I also think I am being fast and loose with the term toys when it comes to ping pong balls. I'm not entirely sure you would call it a toy. So feel free free to vent your frustration in the comments if you think I'm breaking the rules. I think I'm just stretching the rules. I don't think I'm breaking them. I'm not a rule breaker. I'm a law abiding citizen for the most part. Okay, gorgeous layer of ping pong balls. That's definitely added an extra kind of bit of texture, bit of sculpture to it. It's taking it to the next level, definitely. I think we might go for these dolls next. The legs stick out like that. And if I kind of stick them like that, oh, I think that'll be fun. As soon as I placed it there, I knew it was a great idea. They've got really big bums, these dolls. This hat is literally gonna be everything I've ever wanted and just so much more. Like, I'd be absolutely terrible if I was ever on the show Hoarders. I'd be the most difficult person ever because I just wouldn't want to get rid of anything and I can sympathize with them because things do come in handy and I think this is a prime example of when things do come in handy you know people would just throw dolls bodies away because they haven't got any heads or arms why have they got no arms I didn't use the arms did they come with arms they haven't got any hands I don't know what I did with the hands did I use them anyway people would just throw them away whereas I was like no one day I don't know how many years from now I will use them and that day has come obviously it's a bit different when people are like hoarding a mouldy can of soup because that's got like no use at all that's when you've got like a serious issue but when you're hoarding useful things like this then i just i don't see the issue in it really as long as it makes you happy imagine if i was like a therapist or a psychiatrist or something i'd be no help at all would i i'd be like well do you get joy from the objects and they'd be like yeah and i'm like okay well just keep collecting them keep storing them fill your house full i'm also not taking the piss out of anyone who's got a hoarding issue by the way because clearly i have one but i also don't think it's an issue. <laughs> I just think I like to hoard. I feel like this might end up looking like, you know when people wear the tinfoil hats? Is it when they think like the government's controlling their brains or is it something to do with aliens? Something like that. I feel like it's gonna kind of give off that vibe. And if it does, then I'm excited about it. <laughs> I'll just wait for that glue to set and we'll move on to the next layer. I think I need a bit more colour. So do we think basketballs? Actually, I think these basketballs will cover this top part and then I might build a little bit off the top and then I think it might be done. These are technically stress balls, but kids can play with them, so. I'm counting it as a toy. I don't think I can fit another basketball in there, can I? Oh, that is the front. I can't have a gap there. What about another headless doll? Standing up, yes. In fact, I'll put your arms up because it's a celebration. I've just thought because the doll's missing a head, I can replace the head with one of these. This will be perfect. See, sometimes things just happen by accident and they're the best things ever. Oh. I am so happy with that. That was a great idea. Oh, I don't know whether I want to add anything else now. It's got a lot to it, hasn't it? To be fair, I think I've gone too far with it anyway. So I'll wait for that last bit of glue to set. I'll pop the hat on and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, are we ready for the grand reveal? In three, two, one. Ta-da! How amazing is this? I can barely see anything because the balloons are in the way. But I can just kind of part them out the way a bit. I can't really part them out the way. It surprisingly fits. 
amazingly well. It, it fits perfect. I'm finding it hard to see it because I feel like I blend into the background of the studio. I absolutely love the baby on the top with the smiley face. Obviously I wasn't creating a like fashionable hat. I wanted it to be quite playful because the theme is toys and if I was to create something super serious with toys well that would just be sad wouldn't it? Imagine if I went out like actually outside into civilization wearing this what would people think? Do a thing always cool. But anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode of Letting a Wheel Pick My Crafts. I actually think it's been one of the most successful episodes we've ever had. I told you it was going to be the best thing you've ever seen this year, possibly even next year. But if you did enjoy today's video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know if you would have done anything differently. I don't think anyone would have, because why would you? But yes, I'll see you next week for a brand new video and I might possibly be wearing this hat.